Envato, the unlimited creative subscription. Photoshop or Lightroom, chocolate or vanilla, both? If you've ever looked into photo editing software, you've probably come across both Photoshop and Lightroom. But which one is right for you? My name is Jamie from Envato, and I've been working as a professional photographer for over 15 years now. I've used both Photoshop and Lightroom extensively throughout my career, and I'm here to answer the question, which program is right for you? Let's jump on in. Right off the bat, let's talk about the pricing structure of these two programs. Adobe actually bundles Photoshop and Lightroom together in their photography plan for $9.99 USD a month. Keep in mind that you don't save any money by subscribing to only one or the other. So when you're looking at these two programs, cost isn't really a factor you need to consider. It's easy to notice a number of similarities between Photoshop and Lightroom. In fact, all of the adjustments available in Lightroom are also available in Photoshop, but not the other way around. Both programs are industry standard high-end photo editors that have raw image processing capabilities. However, their interfaces are unique to one another. Lightroom uses a slider-based interface for its editing workflow, which makes it extremely easy to navigate and get results quickly. The develop module of Lightroom, where the edits are made, is broken down into sub-menus with all of the possible adjustments. The interface of Photoshop, on the other hand, is much more of a blank canvas. This is less intuitive, so for the beginner, it can feel intimidating. However, for the more seasoned editor, Photoshop allows a precision that is unmatched by Lightroom. For a quick example, there are at least seven different methods to sharpen a photo in Photoshop, whereas Lightroom gives you only one sharpening slider. This video is brought to you by Envato, unlimited creative assets and the broadest range of categories all in one place. Follow the link in the description and start creating now. Let's take a look at a few reasons why Photoshop might be the right editing program for you. Probably the most useful tool in all of Photoshop is the layers function. Using layers creates a stack on top of the original image, which means you can add, edit, or remove any adjustments you've made without affecting the original image. Layers can be anything from cloning to any kind of color adjustments, sharpening, and so on. Another great thing about using layers is you can toggle them on and off at any point to see what the image looks like without that particular edit. This is super useful for seeing if you've maybe pushed too far or not far enough. If your image needs a logo removed, hair flyaways fixed, or you need to get rid of a pimple, there are a number of different tools in Photoshop to take care of these issues. You'll find the clone stamp and healing brush tools in both Photoshop and Lightroom, However, using these tools inside of Photoshop in combination with the layers function has so much more potential for precision editing. Sharpening is an essential part of any photo edit, and as I briefly mentioned before, Photoshop offers a number of different tools to do so. From the most basic of them, like the sharpen tool, to high pass sharpening, to the unsharp mask filter, etc. Each method interacts differently with the image, so exploring these and trying out the different options is extremely useful in bringing out the best of the details in your image. Photoshop is the tool for when you really want to get into the finer details of a photo edit. It's almost endless the amount of fine tuning that can take place inside of Photoshop, from hue and saturation adjustments, which can subtly or majorly impact the look and feel of your image, to warping or liquefying your image, which can stretch or bend your photo in all kinds of different ways, or adding blur or grain to your image, which can create a nostalgic film kind of quality to an edit. If you're looking to bring out the best of one or a small group of images that need some extra attention, Photoshop is absolutely the program for the job. Now let's take a look at a few reasons where Lightroom excels and why it might be the right program for you. The file management and cataloging features inside of Lightroom allow you to use this program as a sort of digital photo book. As you import your images, Lightroom stores a digital preview, even if the actual photo files are stored elsewhere. This allows you to keep your images and edits easily accessible for any future needs. You can also assign keywords or use different rating systems and collections to select and sort images from a shoot really easily. All of these options make it very simple for you to keep your files organized and searchable inside of Lightroom. Because the images in your Lightroom catalog are actually previews, you're not working on the original raw image file. This means the original photo files are never affected and that you don't need to save file versions. If you ever wanted to re-edit an image in the future, 
you can return to your Lightroom catalog and your edit settings will be exactly as you left them, allowing you to make a new edit quickly and easily. One of the absolute best features of Lightroom is the ability to batch photo edits. Since the interface is made up almost entirely of sliders, you can easily and extremely quickly apply the edit settings from one photo to another, or even an entire shoot. This is a huge time saver for me in my workflow when I'm editing a large group of similar images. Once you've finished your edits, exporting either a single image or an entire shoot's worth of images is done quickly inside of Lightroom. You can export full-size high-res TIFFs or lower-res web-size JPEGs in a matter of a few clicks. In the export settings, you can customize the file names to be a numerical series or maintain their original file number. Once you export, Lightroom takes care of all of the back end of the file handling, which saves a ton of time when compared to doing this work in Photoshop. If you're making the same edits to your images again and again, you can create and apply a custom preset at the click of a button in Lightroom. With presets, you can switch from any kinds of editing recipes, from black and white options, to contrasty saturated looks, all incredibly quickly. You can also download custom presets created by other people to get you all kinds of creative results. The best place to download Lightroom presets is at Envato, your one-stop creative asset destination. A quick search shows you all kinds of assets created by our community of global artists. See a preset you like? Download and apply the same look to your images. With one simple subscription, you get unlimited downloads and lifetime commercial licensing. Plus, you can cancel at any time. Check the link in the description and start creating now. So, which one should you use? At the end of the day, neither Photoshop nor Lightroom were designed to be a one-size-fits-all editing software. As we've covered, they both excel in different ways, so be sure to lean into the program that best serves the editing you're trying to do. If you're just getting started on editing images, there's a wonderful simplicity to Lightroom. It's entirely slider-based, which means you can just drag the sliders around and see the results in real time. However, the simplicity that Lightroom offers is also its limitation. For a more experienced photo editor, the advanced capabilities that are found inside of Photoshop are an absolute must. Having the ability to hone in and make fine adjustments is an essential part of a workflow. Reliable software is essential, and in my experience, getting to know both Photoshop and Lightroom and then using them in tandem with one another is the best workflow that I've found for my photo editing. Lightroom is a great starting place for any photo edit. And then if I need to hone in and do any more advanced editing, I'll bring it into Photoshop and do that work in there. If you're looking for an alternative photo editing software other than Photoshop or Lightroom, there are a few options, most notably Affinity Photo. It's a great alternative to the Adobe products and might just be the right editing software for you. Be sure to check out our tutorial on how to get started using Affinity Photo. I hope this video has helped clarify the differences between these two editing softwares, and now that you feel confident to move ahead in your photo editing. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Envato YouTube channel for more helpful photo and design videos.